Christmas is almost here, but it hasn't snowed. It's Christmas Eve at the Mistethans' house. The presents are wrapped. The cookies are baked. The tree is covered with bright lights and shiny ornaments. Everything's ready for another perfect Mistethans' Christmas. You know, Santa can't come until everyone's asleep, Mom says. Doc and Donnie race off to their rooms and jump into their beds. Night, Bugaboo, Mom says as she kisses Doc on the forehead. As soon as Mom closes the bedroom door, Doc holds up her sexoscope and all her toys come to life. The toys are just as excited about Christmas as Doc and Donnie are. But they know Doc needs to get to sleep. As soon as Doc's eyes are closed, the toys get to work. Operation Doc Present is underway, whispers Hallie, jumping out of bed. Just don't wake Doc. Lambie carefully picks up Doc's present. It's a homemade ornament with pictures of all Doc's toys. Now, they just have to get it on the tree in time for Christmas morning. Shh, Hallie tells Lanny and Stuffy as they tiptoe through the hallway. You two are louder than fireworks at a football game. But that's not us, Lanny tells Hallie. It's that elf under the tree. Oh, Jingle Bells and Candy Canes, wails the elf. Now I've been seen too. This night cannot get any worse. Bubba's the elf introduces himself and tells the toys why he's sad. It's been a busy year, so Santa has a team of elves to help him. But I dropped this present and the toy inside broke. Tobas explains, if Santa finds out, I'm worried he won't let me help anymore. The toys all smile. They know Tobas came down the chimney of the best toy fixer-upper there is. They just have to wake her up. Doc heads downstairs to meet Tobas. Oh no, she gasps. When she sees the broken toy, that's Commander Crush, the toy Donnie's waiting for. I know, Tobas says. He's written Santa at least three letters, and I watched him do so many kind things. Tobas, don't give up so easily, Doc says. I just need to give the Commander a checkup. Doc grabs her doctor bag. She checks the commander's ears and eyes. She listens to his heartbeat. She looks at his back. This part is broken, Doc explains. It can't be fixed. You need a brand new one. Luckily, Tobas knows where they can find a replacement part. You'll have to come with me to the North Pole, he whispers. And with a little sprinkle of elfin magic, Doc, Tobas, and all the toys are transported to Santa's workshop. That's where I was built, Commander Crush tells them. What's your plan, Private Tobas? The toy building room. Tobas replies, if we can get in there, we should be able to find all your replacement parts. Tobas leads everyone in the back way so Santa won't see them. There are train tracks and springy springs and slippy slides in the toy building room, but there aren't any space parts. Big words! Santa Elves Chimney Heart
heartbeat.